Today is my third and final session of my Morpheus 8 treatment. I'm super excited to share this with you. I show you my befores, afters, I take you on a journey from immediately after the treatment, day one, day two, day three. All these videos are in my beauty playlist under Morpheus 8. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today is my third and final session of my Morpheus 8 treatment. I'm super excited to share this with you and I get the opportunity to chat more with Dr. Julia and I'm sure there's a lot of questions that you have that I have that she will be able to answer. So like in my previous videos, we will show you some of the filming of the treatment. Remember, I have documented session one, session two and about to film session three and each one there is a six to eight week gap in between each treatment, which you have to have. I show you my befores, afters. I take you on a journey from immediately after the treatment, day one, day two, day three. All these videos are in my beauty playlist under Morpheus 8. As I mentioned, we've got questions that need to be answered. And of course, I'm back here with Dr. Julia to answer them. I know going through this journey and I'm about to have my third treatment, that I have questions and things that um, I'm not sure about, and I know you have questions. So one thing that I've done with my research on Morpheus 8, especially on YouTube, there's a lot of women that have tried this treatment and they've either tried it once and went, oh, it doesn't work. And so my question is, do you have to have three treatments to really see the results? The treatment is tailored according to the patient's need. So if you were starting your Morpheus 8 treatment and you do one session only, you might not see any of the benefits. You will need to have a series of treatments to achieve a great result. Some people, three sessions might be just enough. Other people might need four, five sessions or even six sessions. As long as we give enough time for that heal process to occur, then there is no problem to do more sessions. I've also seen women that have just been numbed with numbing cream. If they're only using numbing cream on your face and you have areas of fat deposits that need four millimeters, will they do that? Well, people's tolerance is very different, okay? Some people might put up with that, but for you to deliver the right treat, I feel very uncomfortable treating a patient when they are in pain. If we can make it comfortable for you, then that's the better option. You tried one session, I think it was in your second session, you said, Julia, can we just do a little bit without the anesthetic to see how I feel? Have a look. <laughs> We have to beat that. But well, that was only two. Far out. <laughs> <laughs> so you were not very happy. No. So and that was very low setting. So if you're not numb, then I have to tone down the settings to actually make it comfortable for you or to a level that you can tolerate. Exactly. Maybe. That's exactly what I mean. So to get optimal results, you need to be numbed. Really. Yeah, that's that's the idea. By a blocker, not a numbing cream. A lot of people ask, is it painful? So being numbed for me is essential. I could, could not imagine this treatment not being numbed. But to be clear, the numbing, you've been, if you've been to the dentist, um, the numbing is, you know, injections in the mouth, which is okay, and then, you know, injections. Right, so the numbing process, normally we do blocks. So we block the nerve, so we block the mental nerve and we also give a couple of injections say the mouth to numb this area here so you kind of get the whole lip area and cheeks numb on the side here sometimes we use a little cannula to numb the area and it's fine uh, because we can deliver instead of delivering multiple injections it's just one side of injection and you numb the whole cheek area to be honest that was probably the most painful was maybe the cannulas little cannulas that go it's not the cannulas it's when you feel the anesthetic going sort of spreading through the through the face uh, and I think it's important you know that 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 there is a little bit of pain associated with that but nothing like the pain associated if you did not have your face fully numbed but again you this is numbing cream and this is numbing cream yes that's right it's important to remember as well that a lot of people get concerned if I do Morpheus A, is it going to dissolve all the fat in my face? And the answer is it depends on 
that consultation what you're trying to achieve with the treatment. If you have some areas of your face that you want to dissolve the fat, then the answer is yes, we can tailor to do that. But we also can tailor just to have the um, skin rejuvenation, the collagen formation without the dissolving fat. And that's why it's important to have the initial consultation, describe your previous treatment, what you want to achieve, your main concerns. Maybe morphosis is not the right treatment for you, for other reasons, because you might not want the needling or the downtime, but it's a beautiful treatment and it's pretty much suitable for everyone. And clearly you have to come and see Dr. Julia because she is the best and this is what I love about you is you, you care and it is tailored to suit you and your needs. So, are results guaranteed? Now, unlike um, Botox, fillers, injectables that we inject the right dose and we know exactly what to expect as an outcome, with Morpheus Age, what we're doing, we're stimulating your body to give results, okay? So the majority of people that have this treatment done, yes, they have an exceptional outcome. Now we need to manage your expectations. What you want to achieve? Do you think Morpheus Age is gonna do everything for you? The answer is no, okay? If you need a little bit of volumization, that's not what it's gonna to give to you, okay? If it needs a skin tightening, yes. Now, lifestyle plays a great place in, in the outcome of the treatment. I normally say to my patients, you know, you can't get beautiful flowers from a soil that it's dead, okay? That's and it. that's true. So you can water, but if it's not looked after, you know, it, you won't get anything flourishing there. Now, yes. if you smoke a lot, you drink a lot, a mm. lot of alcohol, don't mm. drink enough water, don't have a healthy lifestyle, Ultimately, that's not going to give you the best outcome compared to someone that do all the other stuff. We do know that the second stage of the healing process is an inflammatory process. So if you take an anti-inflammatory, that can interfere with that outcome. Yes, so, so, so it's depending on so, outside, depending on your lifestyle, medication, um, if you've been looking after your skin, all of these things will contribute or to the, the overall outcome, yes. So there are some factors that can interfere. Majority of patients, they have excellent results because when people want to have this treatment, they commit themselves to a journey. And being part of that journey, there is lots of other things that they commit themselves to make sure that they will get the best outcome. How does Botox, fillers, any injectables work with Morpheus 8? They work perfectly fine. It's a combination of treatment that delivers a beautiful outcome. <laughs> okay, should we go and do my third and final treatment? Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> so this is what I mean by tailoring the treatment according to your face. On this side here, we still got a little bit of gel there. So we're gonna go a little bit more intensity and deeper there. On this side, it looks a lot more toned and tight, but it's still a tiny little bit, which we're gonna go a bit deeper under the area. So a little bit more energy here and less energy on the other face. So in this area here, you know what I'm doing is remember when I marked and you can still see the mark went here and here. So I've done here and now if I go straight into the bone there it'll be uncomfortable so I'm pulling the skin out so it can treat a little bit above. So this is what I'm doing, I'm dragging this bit from here all the way up here. Okay, this is day one. This is 24 hours after my Morpheus 8 treatment. First of all, this is the 
least amount of pain I've been in and it's definitely the least downtime. As you can see, look at my Morpheus 1, my Morpheus 2, this is Morpheus 3 after day 1 and it's minimal compared to my first and second one. I have not broken out of my chin. In the first and second one, I, I broke out severely here. It's definitely like sandpaper. Here is definitely swollen, look. You can see all that, which is part of the process. Um, but it doesn't feel as rough under here. And, oh, maybe a little bruise there. That's from the injection though. Otherwise, it feels okay. And as Dr. Julia mentioned, the skin responds differently to the trauma. So that's why it becomes less painful and less reactive. And all I'm using on my face is the Hydra Drops. I'm literally wiping it with a warm, damp um, cotton pad. Just keeping it all clean. Then I put the Hydra Drops on. Day three. I have to say that this is the least reactive I've been. Feels a little bit little not really like sandpaper not like before a little bit under here now tiny little breakout but remember previously in session one and session two it was like adult acne there this time i think because the body's used to the trauma you know trauma meaning stimulating the collagen and all of that good stuff good trauma it's not as bad and everything wasn't as bad this time have a look to the side Still swollen through there. Mm -hmm. And it just feels, can you see it? Uh, it just feels like sandpaper again. Now my neck, stupidly on my second treatment, I'll try to make this quick. After my second treatment, you're not to go in the sun, right? I know that, but it says at least for four weeks. This was five weeks after and I was away in Ibiza, I was out on a boat. And my neck got really quite burnt. So it is so important. I'm about to put just sunblock on just to go and walk out to the garden. I only used hydro drops for the first two days. And then today, day three, I've started um, with vitamin C and hydro drops. Tomorrow, I think I can go back to my normal skincare. But yeah, really happy. I'm so looking forward to watching this uh, my skin improve and the, for the results to maximize. So this is it. This is me six months after my third Morpheus 8 treatment. They say you see the most results six months after your last session. Here we are. So let's have a look. You've got my before, then you've got treatment one, treatment two, treatment three. Have a look at those photos. I'll tell you what I see and feel about my face and what I feel has worked. So look at this. I'm going to turn to the side. Mm-hmm. Have a look at the other side. Do you see what I see? The whole jawline and under here, if you have a look at my previous photos, it's not like I had that, I hate to say it, turkey neck. And this treatment is so beneficial for that area. What I see is my jawline. And you can see just under, under the chin is a lot tighter. So six months later, loving the definition of this. The other thing, right, I am 53 in two weeks. June the 1st, 1971 is my birthday. One thing I had noticed prior to Morpheus 8, which is quite natural, is this area starts to get a little heavy. What I have noticed is that lift all through there, which has been amazing. I also wanna to bring to your attention, there is no filter, I have no makeup on, I have my mascara on, but nothing else. Even though you can see the window, I've, I've blocked um, half of the natural light. You can see my ring light is not on. I wanted to make this as authentic as possible for you to see the results of this treatment because it's not a cheap treatment. So jawline here, texture of the skin. Look at that, look at that, brilliant. The neck, you know, the neck has always been my, I guess, troubled area, but look at that. It's better. It's not fixed. It's not going to. I am an aging woman. But if we can just slow that process down and feed the skin whatever it needs to rejuvenate and to replenish, 
And that's how I feel. So can you see that? Even the texture of the neck is a lot better. So have a look on my playlist. It's under Morpheus 8 and it's also under Beauty. You can see Treatment 1, Treatment 2, and you're watching Treatment 3. This is really important because I also take you through how I look immediately after day one, day two, day three. So you know what to expect as far as downtime goes. Also, keep an eye out for my one year later video. I think that's really important and I have a load of questions from all of you that I'd like to answer. This is not a sponsored review. It is not a promotion. It is my personal experience and how I see and perceive the results. It's pretty bloody good, I have to say. <laughs> look, I've done my skincare, but look, I'm just really happy with the results. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and the Morpheus 8 series. I do a lot of other videos on beauty, paleo, fitness, lifestyle, and on my Instagram, I dance every day and I give away something every week. They're very different, my YouTube and Instagram. On Instagram, you get to see a little bit more of my everyday life. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, it really helps. And click on the notification bell so you can be notified when my next Morpheus 8 video comes out for one year later. And please don't forget to subscribe. The more you subscribe, the easier it is for me to create my content. All right, bye. Anesthetic. Anesthetic. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> 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 mm, don't do that, Kelly. Gravity, gravity.